Hey friends, my name is Louie, if you don't know me already, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, my no build build inside my new 2016 Jeep Wrangler Sports Unlimited. I've been living in the Jeep for about a month now, so I thought it would be about time to show you kind of what I'm doing. This is a no build build because your girl, she spent all of her life savings on this Jeep here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you the insides and I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I chose the Jeep and why I decided to, instead of go bigger, go smaller. So come along. Hey, I'm Louie. For the past three years, I've been living nomadically and by my own rules. First, I started off in this van. Then I built out this van. And now I'm starting a new adventure in this Jeep. Follow along as I build out a new vehicle, learn how to off-road, and take you along for all of my adventures. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to all of my patrons and an extra special thank you to the following supporters. All right, say hi to my mom. She's chilling in our camp spot right now. She lives in a van. If you haven't seen her van tour already or checked out her channel, check her out. <laughs> You've just been subjected to this video now. Uh -huh. <laughs> out you, seeking rainbows. Yeah, out seeking rainbows. Don't worry, I'll link all of it so people can find it. But if you're in an, interested in specifically like van living, go check her out. Uh, I obviously am biased, but I love my mom and I think what she's doing is really cool. But anyways, so um, this is our like outdoor space. I did a lot of van living in the city and I figured out for me, myself, that um, that's not really my thing. and. I realized that there is a lot of public spaces and a lot of campgrounds and um, what I really want to be doing is being out in nature. Yeah, I decided that uh, an SUV would be the best option for the type of travel I want to do. But this is kind of like our main living area when we're out in nature. Um, I'd say that we're out in nature, what do you say, like 95% of the time? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, it depends. It depends on the region. Yeah, we're and we've in. only been, I've only been living like this for a month now. So, and it's summertime, which is so nice. And I would say probably 95% has been spent in nature since, especially since you've gotten this. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, like when I was van living, that was different. We were doing more city travel. Um, check out our Van Life in the Cell series. And, yeah. Uh, so yeah, let me get to the point here. It's like 95% of the time we are camped out on public land or in a campground or whatnot. So this is our little living room space and we put out a mat and our chairs and have the dogs out here and have their toys out here and their water and yeah, basically <laughs> they hang out outside all day, um, especially on nice days and yeah. This space also acts as my kitchen. Uh, the only thing that I have modified so far in this Jeep is I bought this front runner uh, little tailgate table. I highly recommend it. I think it is the best thing that I've done. It was like 200 bucks. That's $200 I've spent for this so far. It's turned this area into my kitchen area and it has a little cutting board. So I put my stove and my kettle and stuff out here. I cook. I just got these buckets too and they fold out and this is where I do my washing. Um, put that there. Right now I'm using, I'm putting water in the kettle or a water bottle and just putting it in there. I have a pressure pump bag that I use to wash stuff normally, but that just recently went out uh, a couple days ago. So I either have to repair it or get it replaced. That is just the way stuff like this goes. Living out like this, there's always, there's always something. But the pros outweigh the cons. Yeah, so this is my cut, my setup so far, and um, eventually I would like to have some sort of awning over here. I know there's these cool like awnings now that go mostly at like 180 degrees around your Jeep um, or any vehicle really, and I want to get one of those. It's gonna take me some time to get a lot of things. I think it's kind of fun. There's William laying in the grass right now, enjoying some. Good old nature time. <laughs> he always finds a little bed in the grass. I store all of my dishes and food in here. I just really want to conceal as much smell as well as keep it organized. But uh, yeah, because we are camping out in the mountains, it's very important to keep as many of the smells inside contained as possible. That's what I have here, just food. Here's my water thing. Currently I have 
just five gallons on board. My mom's also carrying five to six gallons. Five gallons is all I really need at the moment just because I'm on the move a lot and I fill it up a lot and it's also not too hot yet. When I'm in the desert or something, I will definitely be carrying way more water. Yeah, and I have my little walk-in cane there that I found. I got my guitar here. I keep all my toiletries hung in a bag here. Try to keep it as concealed as possible. It should be closed more. And then just like extra things like paracord, extra dog food, is all in here. This is where I store my little foldable buckets. I have paper towels. I have given in. I don't really like using paper products, but uh, I really, these are so useful. Got my yoga mat. And then the window covers that I currently have are just Reflectix. I'm gonna cover them eventually with some fabric and make them look more aesthetic and whatnot. But for now, I have these just cut out to the size of the window and they keep a lot of heat and cold out. And I have finally mounted a fire extinguisher, easily accessible like this. If something happens, if a fire is mismanaged, uh, if I something sets on fire, I can easily grab that. And back here, I just have my bed, blankets, um, this is faux fur. Um, I've had this for about five years. Plan on keeping that for a very long time. It's very warm. And I just recently got some more to make a bigger blanket because we're going to be more northern this summer and things get cold sometimes. So I'm gonna make one of these by hand. Warmth is important. Got blankets and this here. These are just cushions left over from my van build. I've basically repurposed all of it. Um, I have a little bit left over that I'm gonna try to figure out what I can do to repurpose it, but yeah, I sleep on that. I believe this is four inches and very comfy. I've slept on this for over a year now. All right, we are on the passenger side of the Jeep and I have some bear spray stored here. Actually, I need to keep this outside because we've been hanging outside. You really never know. So yeah, this is my little bed and under here, can remove the pillows like this and I have a bunch of my camera gear, all of that kind of stuff. I have my audio recording stuff down here, whatnot. I have my laptop, just little extra things, a bag here. I always put my keys in the same place. Always put your keys in the same place. It really helps you not lose them. I decided to keep the seats inside the Jeep because one, I have heard it's very hard to take them out. Two, I don't really want to get rid of them because I would, maybe one day I'm going to want to sell the Jeep. I never know. And three, it's really nice to be able to move everything to the back and be able to carry passengers. Um, I want to be able to off-road with friends and stuff, so you never know. I would like, I like everything to be very modular, very simple, minimal. Yeah, if I ever wanted to sell this, and eventually, I'm really hoping they come out with an SUV that's long range that is electric, because um, I would trade this Jeep in for in an instant for one of those. So that's a hope. I want to be able to resell this one day. I just put this back here, cover it with my sheet, make it all cozy, and I put my pillows back. It's a nice little spot. All right, we're basically halfway through the tour, so let's keep going. All right, next off, ignore that. Um, I created a really crappy net um, to store my clothes. Um, a lot of my clothes actually right now are in dirty, so they're in the front, but I, I, I'm working on this design. It's, it's a work in progress, um, but I have all like my underwear inside my beanie there, and just a little net. I think it works a little bit as like insulation because this up here gets really hot and cold and I figured having some clothing there might kind of help mitigate some of that. Yeah, I'm gonna store that. Got my skateboard, which I need to use more, but I've been putting all my stickers up there. That's about it. It's very easily accessible. And then I got these really awesome lights from Ikea for about 15 bucks for two strands and they're battery powered. Keeping it simple these days and yeah they just switch on and off like that and I need to get reusable batteries but I will be using reusable batteries with these and recharging them don't worry I will get to my power source here in a second but first I want to show you where William my dog uh, he sleeps at night and kind of where his stuff is he has his own little area we need an awning don't we William <laughs> 
I have some of my dirty shoes stored under here. Broken shower bag under there. And more of William's toys so you can easily get those and a water dish. The birds are a chirping. Um, this is William's bed. I reused some of the foam mattress so that he could be extra comfy. And um, yeah, down here, I just set it on top of this seat. I kept the seat up because I have a seat belt safety thing, harness for William when we drive, and I so I attach him to that. He's got his training collar there, his awesome rain warmth jacket that I got, and yeah, his harness, and has his bed here and a blanket. I will put the faux fur blanket on him if it's really cold at night. And I have stored all of his food. I finally found a good food for him, dry food. Was cooking it for a while, but uh, it's really hard to do that on the road. I hope to one day be able to sustain that. But for now, got a good food for him and I store it in this container as to not let any smells get out as easily. I'm trying to avoid bears as much as possible. <laughs> um, I have become very knowledgeable in them, but I'm still afraid of them, of course. And then in here I have an extra jacket that I just store. It's a very bulky one. It's for like really cold, wet weather. And skate shoes, gotta have them. And I have my little sticker station uh, if you want to order some stickers. Plug, plug, plug. I got some stickers that I designed myself if you want to support the channel, but <laughs> that's where I store them. I need to get a little plastic box for them. All right, let's mosey on over to the captain's chair. Here, I have some postcards I'm storing to send to my patrons, some sunscreen that I stole from my mother, a national park map, Crater Lake, <laughs> and I have some like cleaning stuff here, wipes, I got room, wash some stuff out. And right now I have my dirty clothes here in the front. Just when I'm living life, I put them in the front. Nothing really special. Got a lot of random stuff in there. <laughs> I get a lot of questions about what do you do for power now that you don't have a full system. And right now I am just using a Goal Zero Yeti 400. Uh, suffices for me. That's all I really need to run a fridge, charge my stuff, and yeah, charge my phone. have a domatic fridge that I have brought over from my other build, from my van build, and yeah, it sits up here. I charge in two ways. I have a 100 watt flexible solar panel from Goal Zero as well, and a little car charger. This thing works remarkably well. Um, I do have to say though that I put it on 10 amps and it blew the fuse on one of my 12 volt little port things and so keep it on 5 amps. <laughs> but this thing, I can drive for an hour and it's like half charged. It's kind of remarkable. The one and only self recovery thing that I have at the moment is a, a battery charger cable things for if my battery dies. Uh, yeah, that's something that I'm really going to be working on here in the next few months is getting uh, new tires, getting a wench, getting um, like max track, stuff like that to self-recover um, before I really get out on the trails hardcore. Um, yeah, because that makes me nervous. I also really want to get an in-reach or some sort of way to call out for help, need be. So yeah, one step at a time. And I also store other things like some wipes. I used to be really against baby wipes, but you know, the truth is they really, really help. And I think we offset some of the resource use that we have by living very small. So that's how I justify it. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm trying to live as minimally as possible um, at the moment. I do own more stuff. I have like three bins of stuff and a little chest. Um, left over from my other build, but that's basically all I own at the moment. And I'm really finding that it's very freeing. It's really nice that I can basically clean up my Jeep in like half an hour, get it really nice and neat and organized, and 
it leaves more time to do the things that really matter to me, which is traveling, seeing the sights, making videos, um, yeah, making new friends, that kind of stuff. So I hope you have enjoyed seeing kind of what my setup is at the moment. I absolutely love it. <laughs> This is what I have been aiming to do for probably three years now. Uh, I've been watching lots of people overlanding and stuff on YouTube and seeing this world of like traveling and enjoying nature and exploring places that not a lot of people go is very enticing for me and, and I don't know. I just feel like at the moment this is how I want to travel and yeah. I'm very excited by this so I hope this can help you in some way decide maybe like if you want to do something bigger or smaller. I find that having something smaller and simpler and minimal is really helping me get to more places and uh, it's really helping me feel more comfortable going down dirt roads and stuff. Um, the fact that this has 4x4 capability, high and low, um, makes me feel a lot safer about getting to the back roads and all of that and exploring places that not many people go. This is definitely not the solution for all people who want to travel, but this is one of the very many ways you can travel. And so I wanted to share that with you and I do plan on building this out more, not this summer, um, hopefully maybe in the fall or next year. I'm not in a rush, man. I'm here to journey, to explore, hang out with my dog, make videos, and yeah, enjoy life. Um, I don't want my build to define me, but I do want to share uh, that there is an alternative way to travel if you're looking into ways. And yeah, so that's all for this video. If you want to see more videos about uh, traveling in this Jeep here, or if you want to see how I traveled in a 1989 Ford Aerostar for almost a full year, uh, go check out some of those videos. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.